two balance sheet points, the prior year or period, the prior year in this case, and the current year. And then we just took the difference between these two columns. And if we have something that's in balance here, the debits minus the credits equal zero. Something that's in balance here, the debits minus the credits equal zero. And then we take the difference of each line item in these columns and sum up those differences, it too must add up to zero. So in essence, what we're going to do in order to create the statement of cash flows is find a home for all these differences. And that'll give us a cash flow, uh, a concept of the cash flow statement. We'll get into more detail on how to do that when we create the cash flow statement. But as we look at the outline, keep that in mind. So here's going to be the basic outline for the statement of cash flows. We're going to have the operating activities. That's going to include a list of inflows and outflows from the operating activities. And then we're going to have the net cash provided by the operating activities. Now this list of inflows and outflows for the operating activity will be the most extensive list because the operating activities are in relation to, you can think of it as uh, similar to the income statement for an accrual basis. What we're trying to do is get to net cash provided by operating activities, which is kind of like net income on a cash basis. So that means that we're most of the activities that we do is going to be here because that's normally what the reporting is in terms of activity. That's what the income statement does. It reports activity as opposed to the balance sheet, which reports where we are at a certain point in time. So then we have the other uh, investing activities. Those will include inflows and outflows. There's going to be less involved in the investing activities. And of course, those will include investments, like if we were to invest in stocks and bonds or something like that. But they also include investments in assets like fixed assets, like property, plant, and equipment. So we just got to be aware of that in the investing activities, property, plant, and equipment will be there. Typically going to be less activity that goes on in the investing activities than, of course, in the operating activities. Then we've got the financing activities. And those are going to, we're going to list the inflows and outflows of the financing activities. And those are going to be things that are usually just to get capital in the business or to uh, pay, pay back capital.